We are working how to solve this nice exponential equation. Solution from here, from what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to power m plus n, which is empty as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is what we have here becomes 4 raised to power x times 4 square equals to 36 from here. Then, next step. I write this as 4 raised to power x times 4 square 4 times 4 as 16 equals to 36 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by 16. Divide this side by 16. Also, divide this side by 16. That is, here 16 cancelled each other. And we have 4 raised to power x left, which is equals to 36 over 16 from here. Then, from what we have here, we can write this as 4 raised to the power x equals to 4 times 9 over 4 times 4. That is, here, 4 cancelled each other. And this becomes 4 raised to the power x equals to 9 over 4. Then, from here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 4 raised to the power x equals to log 9 over 4. That is, here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, here, what we have becomes x log 4 equals to log 9 over 4. Then from here, we divide both sides by log 4. That is, divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4, which implies here, log 4 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equals to log 9 over 4 divided by log 4. Then here, yeah, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a over b, the same as log a minus log b. That is, what we have here becomes x equals to log 9 minus log 4 over log 4. Then, from what we have here, we separate it into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 9 over log 4 minus log 4 over log 4. Then, from here, we have log 4 cancel each other, and one left here, which implies x equals to log 9 over log 4 minus 1. Then, from what we have here, 9 can be written as 3 times 3, which is empty as 3 square, and also 4 can be written as 2 times 2, which is empty as 2 square. Then, what we have becomes x equals to log 3 square over log 2 squared minus 1. And also we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, also 2 comes here, and we have x equals to 2 log 3 over 2 log 2 minus 1. That is, we have 2 cancel each other, and we are left with x equals to log 3 over log 2 minus 1. And here when we apply change of base from when we have log a over log b, which is same thing as log a to base b. Then here what we have becomes x equals to log 
3 base 2 minus 1. So here we have the value of x in this problem as log 3 base 2 minus 1. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to log 3 base 2 minus 1. Then what we have here becomes 4 raised to power log 3 base 2 minus 1, then plus 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? That is, what we have here, 2 minus 1, that's 1. And we have 4 raised to power 1 plus log 3 base 2 is equals to 36 on this side. Then here we apply the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m plus n, it's same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, what we have becomes 4 raised to power 1 times 4 raised to power log 3 base 2 is it equals to 36 on this side. Then 4 raised to power 1, same thing as 4, then times here. Yeah? We can express 4 as 2 square, which is raised to power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then here, yeah, this power multiplies and we have 4 times 2 raised to power 2 log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 36 on this side? Then we reverse this 2 from power law. That is when we have p log m is same thing as log m raised to power p. That is what we have begun 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 square base 2 is it equals to 36 on this side. Then we have 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 square that's 9 base 2 is equals to 36 on this side. Also, here yeah, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. That is here, yeah, this same thing as 9. 4 times 9 is it equals to 36 on this side. And of course, 4 times 9 here gives us 36, which is equals to 36 from here. That is, we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to log 3 base 2 minus 1 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now